in association with RM. Exciting learning. The first day when I met my 70 staff, I was very aware that, that I wanted to appear firm but approachable. And I also believe passionately in empowering people. So I wanted to get across early on that with the support staff as well as the teachers that that's how I manage, that I will be empowering and enabling them and listening to them. Fresh from a post as acting head on South End on Sea, Van der Noakes has just joined Daubney School as the new head teacher. Daubney is a large primary school with more than 500 pupils in Hackney, North London. Everything okay? It was a little daunting meeting them all, but, but they, they were very welcoming to me. I mean, the, when I arrived, I had a bouquet of flowers from the staff, which I thought was lovely and I didn't expect at all, because it's hard for them to have a change of leadership after 20 plus years. Well done, those of you who are sitting smartly and quietly. What I like about her, she's prepared to learn. You know, she's not one of those that say, oh, well, I am that age, I'm not prepared to do it. She's not like that. She's prepared to learn, and if she doesn't understand something, she's not ashamed to ask for help and quite prepared to learn. And I love that about her. Jesus love is very wonderful. Jesus love is very wonderful. Oh, let's give her a big clap. Well done. I think there's, there's a new vibrance in the school. And, um, well, People are, are shaping up and getting ready to, to fulfill her expectations of them as well. And I think that is always a, a good thing to be kept on your toes. Before Vander arrived, the school had been run by a long-serving head, which gave it real stability, but also meant it was run on very traditional lines. I think it's really important as a new head to um, do as many assemblies as I can. Oh, who's talking? She came into the classroom in a dress as black as night and her eyes were green as grass and her face was paper white. She was tall and quite unsmiling, though her manner was polite. Before we have our prayer, there's one or two messages. So, Mr. Castleman. It's that time of year that we are going to choose the red caps. Now this year, there are only 10 places for red caps and you will see posters going up all over the school. Just this morning, seeing um, two of my male South African teachers standing up and talking about clubs and saying themselves there's going to be some exciting things happening and maybe some changes. That's, that's really nice for me. Shh, don't spoil it please. Yesterday two people had to spend playtime in my room for talking. One of Vanda's challenges is to bring the school forward into the 21st century. Bye-bye, after you. Two weeks in, and Vanda is a very visible presence around the school. Excuse me, hi, can we take the bicycle out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just go in there. Okay, because right. we do ban work. people from bringing it in. Oh, All right. that before. New head teacher. That's me. Come on out, please, thank you. Normally, in my old schools, I'm used to them saying, oh, F off, if you say something like that. So, so he was quite polite, really. That, that's, that's an easy one. One of the things I wanted to do as soon as I came here was to set up a performing arts team, because I think um, children really respond. It helps their self-esteem, their confidence, and has that impact on standards that we all want. So um, I've got a professional dance teacher in, and I've got a music teacher, and they're also covering the teachers so they get their PPA time, their planning, preparation and assessment. So I haven't really had time in the last two weeks to see how she's getting on. I know she's very good, we're going to go and have a look. This dance teacher is one of several teachers that Vanda has brought to the school. I've used this dance teacher before and she's a very good dance teacher 
and I wanted to actually bring that element into the school. And again, it's to focus on the younger ones. We started with the younger ones because it really helps their speaking and listening because they learn to follow instructions. You could see already they were neat and tidy, whereas a week ago they weren't doing that. So it's really good discipline for them. And, and I passionately believe that dance, things like this, impact on the standards. Are some of you going to come to the dancing club? Yeah, who hands up? Who wants to come to the dance? Oh, goodness, we're going to have so many people. Do you know we've got over 80 people who want to do ballet? The music teacher also came with Fanda. Music is an essential part of the curriculum. It really helps in an inner city school where there's a lot of children who don't speak English. It raises our self-esteem, our confidence, the children's, and you may be absolutely useless at doing your times tables, but you can sing an aria, and, and that's what we're about, finding everybody's skills and everybody's talent. One key change Vanda wants to make is to bring the school into closer contact with the parents. I think historically in this school there hasn't been as, I mean there has with some parents, but there hasn't been as close a relationship as we, we now try and get in schools with parents. Vanda has given the job of running the parents campaign to her Senko, Increase Echo. Patricia is going to help us to run the parent, um, parent group at Daubeny and she's been phoning all these parents today. And all these ones with ticks are coming. Yeah, definitely. Oh, well yeah. done. That is really exciting. That's really quick. We only talked about this a week ago. Increase, who's the special needs coordinator, came to see me within the first two days of my being here. Passionate about her, her vision of inclusion, and, and we think in a very similar way. And having seen how she works here, I mean, I wanted to become a key member of the leadership group. You'll find heads always pick up litter and hang up coats. I was very aware that there were two deputies here when I came and I was worried that there might be some difficulty because a uh, new head coming in, they had a very long-standing relationship with the old head and obviously I would be having new ideas and things I'd want to change. But, but I think that, that's gone quite well, so that hasn't been the hardest thing that I expected it to be. Um, I'm doing some reception children. Vanda and her two deputies, who have been at the school for more than 12 years, are learning to work together. I thought we should maybe tell Leslie briefly what happened at the staff meeting. Mm -hmm. Because, as you know, it was the TLRs. So mm. Have you heard anything? No. An issue for Vanda at the moment is the allocation of teaching and learning responsibility points. There's one or two people feeling that their job's at stake and they're not looking at it as a potential for something else. But I think there were a few people a bit unhappy. I've tried yeah. to speak to one or two this morning, mm -hmm. but obviously it's really important that I have personal um, meetings And you're both going all. to this... Four weeks into the term, Vanda decides to keep a video diary as a record of events. Tonight we have a difficult governor's meeting when I will have to be looking at the new TLR structure, which is difficult anyway, and, and today I've met lots of people about that. Most people seem to be on board, I think we're ready to go out to the unions. But it's going to be tricky tonight because as part of that meeting, I have to suggest a couple of scenarios with TLRs which seriously affect some of the staff. With a Grade 2 listed building, it's not just the staff Vanda has to manage. It's a lovely building. What really upset me was there had been some neglect. I mean, I'm sure for very good reasons things weren't done, but there's a lot to put right, and I believe every child and every teacher should be in an environment that's safe and that's clean and that's wholesome. And it's not like that throughout the whole campus yet. If you can have a look. And you can see right up here in the corners where all the paint's coming off and that we have some fungi with spores, I think. Vanda and her schoolkeeper are on the way to the nursery to meet a surveyor. My first week I was very upset by the state of this building and you'll see as we go in that it really is in a bad way. And originally we thought we'd like to move this up onto the school site. But now we're starting to think, because there's a lot of land here, that maybe we can get funding and build some sort of children's centre here or community centre that will benefit the whole community. Hello, thank you. Hello. Hi. You haven't met me. I wanted to thank you. Pleased to meet you. Um, one, my, student, my daughter's a student. And I wanted okay. to thank you for issuing those shorts and things like that. Oh, was it you who had all those problems? Yeah, it was I did the petition. I just thought it was so archaic. So. Yeah, thank okay. you. Pleasure. Nice thank to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's nice. 
Hello. Hi, Roy. Hello. 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 I'd like again. to introduce my school keeper. This is Dave Coyston, who's going to be going round with you. Hello. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Bye. Bye. He, have a seat, Dave. We need to look at the nursery, get Rob's ideas and points of view on what we can do with the nursery. Two, we need to look at the day-to-day -day maintenance of the school, a five-year plan looking at what we can do. And thirdly... Billy is Vanda's business manager, another member of staff she's brought with her. We were thinking of some sort of community centre, if we could get funding for it, um, we can obviously build the community centre, use the community centre while we then repair the nursery. One of Billy's responsibilities is to project manage any building work. Some repairs done about four years ago, but due to weather conditions and soft wood, it's... Uh, Quite a poor condition now, so it's a bit of a health and safety issue with the children. The skylight's leaking quite badly. What, what's your opinion with this <laughs> then? I was horrified. And Could it all come calls. tumbling down then? Uh, well, th un unlikely, but theoretically, if it has caused uh, any r localised rot and that, it's, it's, it's a possibility there could be some damage there, but we'd have a look at that. You'll check that out. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it could well be that uh, it could be a local repair rather than a complete re refill. So we can, we can temporarily do you, something here? Absolutely, yeah. Right. But you would give us a full report of the whole building? On recommendations on that, plus other areas of concern. That's, that's what and we that's that will be accompanied by some budget prices, and then you can work out what and where you can we'll prioritise it and then you can decide what yeah. you can afford and when. Because yeah. obviously I need to do something straight away about this. Because yeah. mm -hmm. it's just not nice, is it, for yeah. them? Yeah. Alright, have a good day. Great. Bye. Vanda has been working for nearly half a term now at Daubney Primary. She has high hopes for the school, but is she communicating her vision effectively? I'm always reluctant to say my vision, because I think heads who come in on the first day and say, this is my vision, you know, it's their vision, isn't it? So I want them to understand where I'm coming from, from a very inclusive, holistic point of view, as well as raising standards, and really get them on, on board with how, how I feel, and then it will become a shared vision. Most deputies are willing and very happy and very eager to pull in behind their head and support them. But in order for that to happen, I think the key thing is communication, communication of vision, but also allowing people to have input to make that vision their own as well, to buy into that vision. It's like, you know one of those fireworks that go up and burst? And it's very pretty and you've got all the ideas, but we don't know where they're going to fall and if they're going to just peter out. There are telltale signs that the well-known honeymoon period is over for Vanda. Just before half-term, a spell of illness and the increasing pressures of the job are beginning to have an impact. One of the younger South African teachers has just come to me today and, and obviously from what he said, he's, he is pleased about the changes. He said he feels more positive about his teaching than he has for the last five years and, and that's really music to my ears. And I think I'm probably too emotional to make this now. I'm really tired. I think it's at the end of six weeks. I'm going to wipe my eyes because it's just because I'm tired. It's great, really. We've made a start. There are problems, but there's a lot of key people on board, and they've let me know that today, which is really nice. Privately, Vanda has found this first half term a strain, particularly issues relating to leadership and the management of change. But she remains undeterred. I feel the school is going through some emotional turmoil. I'm, I'm, I, laughingly said to my de one of my deputies today, is, is this just me? And she jokingly said, yes, it's because you're here. But I think it is because they've had a head for a long time and, and I'm very different, a very different style from their previous head and maybe that makes people a little bit anxious, although I'm trying to be enabling at the same time. But I think that's human nature. We're all a little worried of change and a bit wary. And, and hopefully we'll go through this emotional period and, and things will settle down again. Well, we'll see, won't we? We'll see.